I love Bridge, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about why this game is awesome. So I've been lucky enough to play Bridge at the highest levels. I've been able to go to world championships and compete for my country at these. Uh, but you don't need to. You can enjoy Bridge playing it at any level. You can get really competitive. You can play it just online. Or you can play it with friends just at your house. You can go to bridge clubs. It's it really varied at what you can play it. And you can enjoy it whether you're playing really competitively or not. But what about it really keeps me coming back is it's like a logic puzzle where it really tests your problem solving ability. You get to play detective and try and work out who's got what cards and what do you think's gonna be happening. And for me, the sooner that you can actually do it, the better you are at it. So it's always this challenge to, could I have got this information sooner? And there's lots of information out there and you really need to just work out what information is actually relevant to me. And you sort of sift through this and there's ways that you can get drawn out and just like keep get stuck in this loop and make a mistake. And that's like, oh, why did I get stuck there? And you got to come back and other times you feel like an absolute genius when you just navigate this path to the right answer and get to know that. Also, you get to battle the odds. You get to know these probabilities and work out, should we be doing that or not? It's not just these rules that you follow, but you have these ideas of, should I be doing that? Or should I actually go down this different path? But also it's got a lot of psychological elements that for, at least from my part view is sort of underutilized. I like to consider, do I bluff the opponents? Do I disrupt the opponents? How do I make it awkward for them? So often I know people just sort of focus on what they're doing, but I really like to think about how do I make life easier for my partner or how do I make it really difficult for the opponents? Or do I just lay this mystery of hiding what I've actually got? Because when it comes back to playing detective, you can sort of hide that and make that a lot more difficult for the opponents. And it's this balancing act for trying to help your partner out or make it really, really difficult for the opponents. The other thing is luck. There is an element of luck in bridge, um, but compared to other card games, they've worked out ways in the scoring to try and really reduce this so that uh, it's very, very skill rewarding. But it's such that it's not just deterministic. You can go to competitions and sometimes you get to play against the best of the best and that might be a bit daunting. But if you play really well, and by the way, even the best of the best make lots of mistakes. There is a lot of room for improvement. If you want to improve in this game, it keeps giving you that chance to better yourself, which I find very rewarding whenever I can make these improvements. But when you go to tournaments and you can play against some of these top players, if you play really well, you can beat them. If you're playing a different sport like tennis and you came up against the world number one, there is no way you're going to be beating them. It is just not going to happen. You are just that far apart uh, skill wise. But in bridge, you can have a significant gap, but luck can go your way. The opponents can make mistakes and you can beat them. Most of the time, they'll beat you, but you get that chance. So it keeps you hooked. And when that time does come, you really want to like live off that. You want to go tell everyone, enjoy that moment. So often do I hear at tournaments that these people beat this really good player and how it made their day. I just, I love hearing those stories and it keeps people coming back and enjoying the game. But basically Bridge has reduced luck compared to other card games, but with all card games, that is that element of luck. So it's both a combination of skill and luck and very skill intensive, which makes it rewarding. But that element of luck or randomness gives everyone an opportunity, which I, I think is fantastic. Another thing that I really think that's awesome about uh, Bridge compared to some other uh, sort of intellectual games is you're working with a partner. It's not just you battling it alone. You're actually working with someone else. And this makes it extremely social. Um, so first of all, your goal is to try and sort of align your mind so that you're thinking together and uh, 
working out how to get the best results out of each other. It's a team game, it's a partnership game, rather than you just being alone. So the fact that this is such a social uh, game is it builds friendships. I have made countless friends from people playing bridge. I know them all over the world, but where however you play it you will build fantastic friendships just by being able to discuss and talk about this game it it'll create this real community for you everyone that i know that plays bridge manages to build this community and i think it's a fabulous asset of the the game where you get to discuss with people you find out where you went right or wrong even apart from bridge it, it just builds these connections and a way that you can uh, rely and connect with uh, other people but the biggest reason is it's fun give it a go uh like so many people find that it's complicated or uh there's too many rules it can be simplified it can be uh you can take out of it what you want to take it out of it give it a shot and uh, how you can get started. First thing I'd recommend is grab a friend. As I said, it's a really social game. If you come with a friend, it'll help you build these connections to start with. So give that a shot. Uh, then what I'd recommend is the sort of three main ways that you can sort of do it. Uh, the number one I'd recommend is check out your local bridge club. They will offer bridge lessons and ways to get into it. And that's a great starting point to build that community. Also, there are videos online that you can check out how to play bridge. There's lots of them. Find ones that you like and go from there. Or the third one, which I'll link below, is there is some free learn to play bridge software. If you want to test that out, uh, you can check it out there. Anyway, that's why I think bridge is awesome. I hope you give it a shot and you think it is too. Anyway, thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.